Hello everyone, uh, myself Dr. Chandan Narang. I am an MS orthopedician. I have done my post graduation from the Civil Hospital Surat. It's a government medical college. And I have done my senior orthopedic residency from the same college as it was a government medical college. So, so, uh, so please be with me uh, for uh, just one minute daily. I'm going to upload few of the tips uh, like how to handle these three years of orthopedic residency. I have myself faced a lot of troubles during this period and it is really hard going through this period and everyone will suffer one or another way. Uh, what I have felt, what I have experienced, every orthopedic resident is going to feel the same. I am so sure and definite about that because there will be one moment the things will be over, the, the, the things will overlap. Okay, so please stay with me just for one minute daily. I'll upload some uh, handy tips one minute and do share them as well. It might be helpful not for you, maybe for someone else. Okay, thank you. Hello, so the very first thing is you will be uh, going to wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning okay and uh, the first task you will be given is the dressing dressing of all the patients okay whether it is a round day whether it is a well, like op ot day or uh, whether it is a emergency day or opd day all of you you all are ones of orthopedics have to do the what the dressing so you will learn about the betadine spirit how to do it i'm not going to tell you about that if you will definitely learn it you have to learn it okay still people like currently i have seen people they don't know how to do dressing okay they don't know the proper method of doing dressing what are the proper precautions they have to take you have to learn that don't uh, mess with uh, those idle techniques learn from your seniors uh, the main thing i'm going to tell you here is that how to save your time how to do the dressing fast okay how to save the time regarding the time saving there are at least 6 to 70 patients in the ward out of them there are 10 15 20 depending upon the institution depending upon the like how many beds are there uh, the number of uh, the septic patients vary actually in our let me tell you about the our institution we had in our unit almost 80 patients in our ward and out of those there were at least like 10 to 15 minimum uh, there were 10, 10 to 15 septic dressings were there that we have to do so what our seniors used to do uh, my seniors second year I, i'm not gonna mention the name he used to call us at uh, like 4 30 or 5 o'clock and sometimes it was most of the time it was 5 30 a.m and uh, and he, actually after six months we found out that that our R3 used to call our R2. So our R3 used to wake him up and then he used to call us. So this was the sequence. So, so we were like, yeah, why our R2 is like behind us? So if you start doing your dressing early, if he calls you, he wakes you up. That was good in our case. But but in your case, you maybe your uh, secondary is not like calling you up, uh, like get up and do the start the dressing. So put up alarm whether you have slept at one o'clock or two o'clock you have to start the dressing 5 a.m 5 30 a.m so you will be able to do the extra work you can take on your uh, you can take care of your personal things as well if you start dressing early second thing the problem with the dressing is if there are like 10 to 15 patients uh, the opening up of that dressing okay that is a very uh, very uh, like uh, time consuming part so initially we were also like we used to open up the dressing so slowly slowly we came to know we learned from the seniors from the servants that uh, and uh, like there were some uh, patients who were they staying there for long who they used to guide us how to do the dressing and how to ask these patients to remove their dressing that is not ideal but what we can do is uh, we can ask every patient to just to open up their own dressings okay they can they can do that in civil hospital they can do that okay so ask them to open up their dressings or oh, you uh, and the second a uh, second task was to wake these patients up 
यू ऑल्सो हैव टू वेक दिस पेशेंट्स अप इन द मॉर्निंग इनिशियली वी आर लाइक के यार वाई आर वाई वी आर वेकिंग दिस पेशेंट्स अप वी आर वाई आर डिस्टर्बिंग देयर स्लीप बट दिस थिंग विल पास यू वॉन्ट फील दोज थिंग्स ओके सो वट यू कैन डू जस्ट फ्रॉम जस्ट फ्रॉम माई साइड वी यूज टू हैव अ स्पीकर एज वी आर ऑल्सो इन स्लीप वी आर यूज टू हैव अ स्पीक ब्लूटूथ स्पीकर वी यूज टू प्ले सॉन्ग्स एंड वी यूज टू वेक दम ऑल दम अप okay and then and they you the patient uh, themselves or like uh, some uh, servant in the ward they used to open up the dressing and what we were used to do we were just like doing the dressing part and then after applying the gauze wipes and the uh, pad and the uh, gmg and all and and uh, after that that bandaging part it was done by the uh, assistant or like we were doing it very fastly and um, so this is the way and uh, we also used to take the help of uh, this patient's relative okay this patient relative uh, they were like they use the help uh, they helps us in opening as well as after applying the gauze piece and the and the pad and the gmg they used to apply the uh, bandage so you can take help of them also this will actually uh, saves your time and uh, second thing is uh, always divide the dressings among your colleagues okay or otherwise always divide always divide the things from the very first day ke how you, but you will be doing what i'll be doing okay like if i'm doing today you will do next day if you are like uh, uh, have uh, uh, like was not slept last night uh, you slept late due to some other work and you slept early so make some like adjustment among among yourselves so that things can go very smooth Uh, okay so the just the take home message over here is on the day one in the morning do wake up at 5 am make that habit because if after finishing your residency you are definitely going to develop that habit because in in a private setup you have to uh, like wake up at 5 am and then go for the ot is so you will finish up the ot then you will go for the c for the opd and there are a lot of works so you will ultimately start waking at 5 am so why don't you make that habit in your residency days and stop complaining about that 5 am clock period ke okay, i have to wake up i have 5 am i don't want to wake up get wake up you will become, you will have a habit if you don't have a habit you will make a habit okay and ask someone to wake you up okay this will help you thank you